Well, there's been an uproar following the assault of civilians by some members of the Deputy President's VIP Protection Unit on the N1 Highway in Johannesburg. As there's an IPED investigation that's underway because concerns are also being raised about these VIP Protection Unit members' conduct. Let's speak now to Trade Union Pop Crew, Richard Mamabulo is their spokesperson joining us now this hour on today. Mr. Mamabulo, uh, good afternoon. Thank you very much for your time. Your reaction to what we have seen on that video that has gone viral? Good afternoon to you and the viewers. I think uh, as a union, we are not at a position to uh, well, uh, give a, uh, an overview at the moment. What we're still waiting for is uh, sufficient information. You would have noticed that uh, what has been broadcast in the media platforms has not been the, all the information that is uh, would, would relate to giving us a better perspective of what actually happened. But in principle, we're actually against any form of brutality, be it against police or members of the public. And of course, uh, with the ongoing IP investigation, we will wait investigations. And only then when investigations are released, we can then make a comment as a union. You don't think there should be some action taken at this stage? We all saw that video. Yes, investigations are going on. We saw the vehicle. And yes, the deputy president, uh, Paul Mashatile, saying those are members of his VIP protection unit. You don't think as a trade union we deserve some action while investigations are going on, Mr. Mamabula? Look, we think it would be... We think it would be, it would be premature to actually conclude on whatever information that is being investigated. And we're saying that uh, we need to wait for the full investigations because uh, I think uh, what would have been depicted on these profiles is uh, actually not the entire information of what actually transpired. So, so for the benefit of everybody, it would then best be in the best interest of justice that uh, all investigations are concluded and we look into the causal factors behind what would have ultimately led to that altercation. I find it unbelievable that you would say that. You know why? Because it's very clear in the video who's involved. There's a gentleman lying on the floor, apparently unconscious. There's another one who's being kicked by heavily armed police officers of the VIP unit in broad daylight on the N1 highway. It is there. Surely some action has to be taken while investigations are going on, Mr. Mamabulu. We are not denying what has been depicted. What we are saying is that we need to get a full context of what had happened even prior to that, uh, which is depicted being uh, well placed in the public eye. And for that reason, it is quite reasonable to then suggest that uh, the only time we can make a comment around what should happen is only on the basis of having had a full investigation being concluded. Some commentators are saying the deputy president must do the right thing from a humanity perspective, must find those victims himself and visit them and make sure that they are safe. Whatever has happened prior to them being attacked like that, as we saw on that video, would you agree with that approach? Well, we have been reliably informed by a statement from the SAPS that uh, victims have, of course, uh, uh, at this moment reported the incident. And, of course, the process is currently underway. You had also indicated that IPD is as well looking into the matter. So as far as investigations are concerned, we are quite confident that they are currently in the right hands. And, of course, uh, based on the outcomes of these investigations, we believe that uh, the necessary steps will definitely be taken. What kind of outcomes would you as a trade union accept? Look, uh, like we are emphasizing now that we are against any form of brutality. I think uh, it would obviously depend on uh, the circumstances which have led to such an incident taking place. But of course, I think uh, generally we would uh, want to be in a position which would ensure that uh, the rights of everybody are kept. Uh, and of course, uh, such uh, incidents where there would be whatever forms of violations are kept uh, generally in, in, as it relates to the manner in which police and, of course, the communities relate with each other. As an officer yourself, an officer of law, a member of Pop Crew, that's the assumption I'm making. Uh, Conduct-wise, how should we conduct ourselves on the roads with the VIP protection units, with the Blue Lights Brigade? 
Look, that, that is quite difficult. I think we've, we've all, also as well experienced incidences where there would be road rages, but I think uh, as well the effect of the matter is that uh, you would have certain security measures that would be applied by this, uh, well, uh, different uh, categories of securities. And of course, uh, them being a VIP protection unit, there would obviously be certain uh, expected threats that they would definitely need to react to. It's similar with uh, those who we, who are transporting uh, well uh, cash on the our roads? You know, cash in transit. Uh, 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 well, uh, people, uh, any form of reaction that would obviously uh, well result in them feeling uncomfortable would obviously be result in some form of uh, uh, well uh, action, whether intentional or not, being ta uh, well taking place. So I think it's something that we we'll definitely need to look into further, and of course have further discussions around, so as to ensure that. Uh, the safety of both uh, uh, road users and, of course, uh, this uh, uh, well uh, units uh, is kept into consideration in whatever uh, well actions that are taken. Yeah, I mean, you and I don't know what happened pre before that uh, assault that we've seen on video, correctly so, until this matter is fully investigated. But it's emerging that apparently the Deputy President, Mr. Paul Machatile, was not even being escorted at that moment. That cannot be verified at this time around, but whether he had been escorted or not, the fact of the matter is that uh, it's quite common that uh, on our roads we would have such a, a vehicles traveling at high speeds, and of course, uh, for whatever reasons, for one reason or another, and, and of course, that should definitely be taken into consideration. So it can only be fully expatiated upon when we have the actual facts around what actually transpired and what led to them having uh, have had to stop uh, that vehicle, uh, which led to that altercation, which uh, taken, which took place rather. Yeah, while you are condemning as a trade union or prop crew any violence, as you've said in the beginning of our interview, would you welcome a very speedy investigation in this matter? Because just speaking as an ordinary citizen, South Africans who uses our roads, I'm scared now. Look, uh, investigations should obviously conclude as, as swiftly as possible. And of course, we should come to the bottom of this. This will actually ensure that uh, we actually urgently look into measures of ensuring that uh, there's a clear understanding between the role of uh, road users and, of course, those who would be uh, well, using such uh, specialized vehicles to transport uh, either VIPs or any other people of interest in the country. Thank you very much for your time this afternoon, Mr. Richard Mamabulu, speaking on behalf of Trade Union Pop Crew.